Hobo Joe was in the closet. Doesn't it look like he's about to do that? Like, like his head is about to shimmer like, Void. 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 <laughs> oh, let me fix my headphones. <laughs> Scoop it up. Oh! Like I said, you know the jump scares come, but and you know it, and you played it before, but they always seem to get you each and every time. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. I am your host, H.B. Gibson. Wow. First and foremost, I want to thank you, the worldwide YouTube audience, for checking out the show. Please do me a favor and dragon kick! that like button, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, so that way you can get notifications of brand new content. Yes, this is episode two of the show, chapter two of me playing Bloodwash from Torture Star Video and Puppet Combo. In our last episode, our protagonist, Sarah, all she wants to do is to have some clean clothes to wear for her job interview the next day. She goes into the basement of the building and the washing machine is broken. Sarah's neighbor Stan tells her of a laundromat that is open 24-7 downtown in a mini mall. But the only way to get there is to take the last bus. Sarah, with her bag of laundry, goes out into the night, runs into some creepy characters, and starts to get a little information about a certain possible serial killer lurking around. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's just go into it right now. Chapter 2 of Blood Wash. The plaza. And here we go. Okay, here we are. We're at the plaza. Now, the last time we played, we went on ahead and we played all the way up to meeting the uh, laundromat uh, proprietor. Let me turn this up in my, in my headphones. Oh, you got to love the sound on this. Woo-wee, look around, look around. Okay, so let's go into the laundromat. Hey there, buddy! Yes, what is it? What is it? Oh, um... Are you all really open all night? We're open all night. But I take my naps at midnight, so you better not need anything after that. Oh... Relays. Oh, okay. I'll be sure not to need anything. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Lost and found. Oh. See, now, this is one of those wonderful things about this game. It has, it's, it's, it's littered with, like, uh, retro stuff, retro Easter eggs. This right here, of course, is a handheld video game. You know, it, it looks like the kind of handheld video games that that uh, were released uh, post '80s, early '90s. Uh, the kind with the um, with with the with the crystal uh, liquid crystal graphics. So I'll bring it back before I leave. It'll be a long night, so I might need it. Okay, so here we go. Walk around, walk around, going to walk around the laundromat. Walk around, walk around, I think gonna get me a glass of soda. Glass of soda, glass of soda, that doesn't make any sense. Telephone, use the phone? Nah, I don't need to use this phone. I might need one of these here, you know, some fabric softener and uh, we'll see some dryer sheets. And uh, yeah, look at that, check that out. Hmm. Hey, look at that, a remote. I think there's a TV here. Ah, come on, I can't pick that, can't pick up the, thank you, all right. Hey, okay, use the D-pad to cycle through your inventory items. Hey, dude, 
Sup? Doing a late night wash, too. Yeah. I work night shift at the factory down the road. This place is the only one open when I get off work. Was a real pain when the first one burnt down. Mm. First one? See, now we get a little bit more information. You knew around here? Yeah, this place used to be next door years ago. But there was a big fire. I don't think they ever found out exactly what caused it. That sounds awful. Girl died in that fire, too. An employee. I don't like to spread rumors, but... But... But what? <laughs> Pretty mysterious. The way she died, I mean. It wasn't a fire that started quickly. She should have had plenty of time to get out. But she was found in the office. Mm. I heard they were close to opening up a murder investigation. That a detective thought the girl was locked in. But then decided to drop it when nobody came up. You know, cops. Lazy sons of bitches. Lazy sons of bitches. Bitches of sons. Well, if that's true, <laughs> it does sound pretty suspect. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. Sure does. Feels like it got swept under the rug pretty quick. What with the womb ripper coming around and butchering those women. That has all the headlines these days. Yeah, we saw that in the last episode, remember? Okay, so let's uh, walk around, walk around. Let's see. Okay. Okay, dry machine. Well, we don't need to dry right now. We need to wash. So let's find the wash machine that we're... Okay. Conveniently, in the video game, they have a wash machine that's open to let you know that this is the one you're supposed to go to. <laughs> yeah, need some change first. Okay, so, need to get some change. Oh, uh, yeah, we know that. My thumb is just twitchy. It's just a twitchy. Okay, here we go. Okay, that looks suspect. Now, by the way, um, it, I'm depending upon which I use, you might notice that the sound is a little different from the last episode. Uh, I, ha I have both Audacity recording and uh, the Rode mic um, attached to my Canon T6i Rebel. So once I go into post-production, I'll decide which sounds better. Uh, if, if, if I find that the, uh, the road mic on top of the camera sounds better, I'll just go ahead and just use that mic from now on. It'll make things a lot easier and a lot faster for recording and editing. So, if it sounds different... Okay, let's get some of that change. Love that change machine. I tell you, the, these change machines were a wonderful thing to see when you were a kid, especially in the 80s, when your mom gave you five bucks to put in the change machine, you get a bunch of quarters and go play some video games. Greatest arcade games ever were over at the, definitely over at the Jersey Shore, man, Seaside Heights. Okay, let's do this thing. And the clothes go inside. I guess I can take a look at the other stores in the plaza while I wait for my clothes. All right, so let's take a look around. Now, this game is also uh, littered with uh, independent horror comics. I'm not gonna have time to read any of them, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take the time to read them in my spare time, and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a special video uh, and talk about all the comics and what I thought of them. They're really good. They're very, very good. It's one comic, Urban Legends. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at that right there, right there, right there. Okay, uh, uh, so not plating. Urban Legends. Yes. Th th I, I looked through that comic before. Uh, I started to get into it. Uh, I didn't have time to read it all, but once, you know, I get a chance, I'm definitely going to read it. For sure. Okay, let's put stuff away and go check out the other stores. And all the other wonderful... <laughs> 
what in the world was that noise? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> uh, I hate the way my lights look in the background. They're kind of, they're, they're like really, really like off. But then again, it's kind of an avant-garde sort of a thing. So I got an avant-garde lighting background there, the purple and the blue, which is, uh, it seems to be the, uh, the, the trademark colors of popcorn, coffee, and joysticks. And by the way, I do have my coffee. Let me show you this. This is my Pac-Man mug. Check it out. <laughs> and over here, well, it's not filled up all the way, but it's a color changing, it's a color changing mug. Check it out, a little coffee. Okay, moving right along. We don't have a whole lot of time. This is this is gonna be like a little over 20 minutes. Appliance store. Sup, man? Ah, customer. Looking for a TV, toaster, blender. Uh, sorry, I'm just browsing. Oh, what kind of person just browses appliance stores at this time of night? Mmm, the kind that really don't have no money to buy none of this garbage in. I'm just waiting on my laundry. Well then, why don't you just buy a washer and dry here? We have the newest models at the lowest prices. Derp <laughs> No offense, but I feel like you're the newest thing in the store. <laughs> Check out the cigar, man. Why, thank you. <laughs> I do take pride in my appearances. Mm-hmm. I bet you do. Uh, take a look around. Take a look around. Whoa, what is this? Hello? Looks like it requires some kind of code to open. Whoa! Hold on! Something I never saw before. I never, I never, uh... I never checked this out. Uh, the first couple times I played through this game, there was only like a few, uh, uh, something, let's see. I never noticed this before. I never noticed this before at all. A code. What kind of a code? Looks like it requires some kind of code to open. Uh, I don't, mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, is there anything over here? Fridge. Ah! Another comic. Let's check this out. Hold up. Reapers. Yes, another wonderful looking horror comic. I got into like a couple of pages of that. Will be checking it out. Wow, what a deal. Yeah, wow, what a deal. Anything else over here? These are really nice. Nah. It's a radio. I think I I think it just looks like a toaster. <laughs> All right. Anything over here? Anything diff anything interesting? Let's see. I want to just check around, see what... Someone on the news yesterday said that these will give you AIDS, cancer, maybe, but that's all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so there really isn't anything here. Looks like my fridge at the apartment, except it's twice as expensive. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's go. Anything else? I want to find out what that code is. One day. Okay, so let's go. Where are we? We're at the appliance store. Let's check out the pizza. Hey, Brother Yub. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. Big shout out to Yub. Can I get you anything? No, thanks. I'm just killing time until my laundry next door is done. Well, you're out late. Uh, just a heads up, we're closing soon. All right. Feel free to hang out until then, though. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, not hungry or anything like this. Let's see, what's the... Uh, it's a... It's a... It's a menu, a menu that I can't pick up. Alright. Are you guys hearing me? Let me move this microphone a little bit closer. Now watch the whole sound dynamic change. Alright, here we go. Arcade machine! Run bums! <laughs> I like this. Check this out. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> hey, pigs. I don't know. Are you getting an anti police vibe here? A big shout out to everybody that works in law enforcement. We know it's not an easy job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Booger Man. Remember that video game Booger Man from uh, for the uh, the Genesis, the Sega Genesis? I mean, you burped, you farted. It was it was hilarious. It was a it was a guy's game. Moving right along. Good old Peepaw. What's up, peeps? Can I help you? Looking for anything specific? A movie? A video game? Fish? Um, no, <laughs> just browsing Fish. things. A movie? A video game? Fish? <laughs> Alright, well, let me know if you need any help. And don't <laughs> you even think about stealing anything. I have eyes everywhere. I bet you do, sir. I bet you do. Wouldn't dream of it. You have quite an assortment <laughs> of things. What kind of store is this again? It's Peepaw's. I'm Peepaw. It's my store. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Moving right along, let's take a look. Well, this is pretty cool. You know, it's, it's kind of a retro store here. You know, videos and everything. This is this is the you know, the only thing that's missing is like an arcade game. If there's an arcade game in here, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that fish. Yeah. I love, uh, I love tropical fish. If I had it my way, I would have a, a tank with with fish in it. Um, it, but then again, I don't really have time to really do much these days, so taking care of fish would just be an added, would just be an added chore. Master System is out now, but this is still my favorite. Master System, yes! This is, uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System, and if anybody remembers the Sega Master System, this is definitely, these guys, uh, Jordan and Henry, they both definitely shouting out the games from yesteryear. Horror movies on sale. Some really good deals in here. Ski Freak. Be Kind Rewind. I'll tell you, the old video, there's nothing like the old video stores like, like, uh, like, um, Blockbuster, you had Palmer Video, you had Hollywood Video, VHS, you know. Big shout out to my love, Rouge Rose. When we moved out to Atlanta before we came back here, we found a little place, a little uh, five and dime store, and we actually found a VHS of Star Wars, the original Star Wars, without all the special edition shenanigans and everything. Ooh. Yeah. 
Too bad Liam won't do any of these things <laughs> the guys on the tapes do. Or the girls. <laughs> Sarah, you... Um, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I am feel very, very sorry for you. You know, bring a tape home, you know? Nudge him a little bit. Fellas, don't be afraid to experiment. Please, your woman. Okay, so... <laughs> Vintage porno, ooh, whoa. How that old man came across these, not that I'm judging, of course. So wonder how that old man came across these, not that I'm judging, of course. All right, looking around, looking around. Oh my, so scandalous. Sarah, you little freak -a leak <laughs> Alright, taking a look around. Take a look around. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. Well, I'm out of time, so let's just get the heck out of here. What, is there anything over here? Not much use for these anymore. With tapes offering more. Interactive experience. What's next? Virtual reality? <laughs> you know that this story takes place <laughs> in the 80s. Alright, let's get out of here. Whoa! People! 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 Ha! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, so you're not stealing anything? Mm, no, you're just checking to see how freaky deaky the leaky leaky Sarah is, you know. Ahem. My apologies. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're, you're sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here, man. I'll say, is there anything here that, that I could pick up? Oh, a Ouija board. Whoa, a Ouija board. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this Ouija board has been used for evil. Oh, I, 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 I unlocked an achievement. I'm, I'm finding things. I'm, I'm, this is my third time playing this game, and I'm finding little things now. You know, it's... So what's up, uh, TV? Nice TV, newer than the one we have in the house. Okay, anything else? What's in here? Uh, da, 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 da. Anything find around around here? All right, cereal, soda, anything in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Looks like a delivery, looks like a delivery the store hasn't gotten around to yet. Okay, uh, what else we got? What else is over here? What else we got here? Meet Chef. Already read this book. I'm pretty big history buff. Uh, oh, meet, meet the Chief. Meet the Chief. Uh, did I say Chef? That shit. Oh. Everybody's gonna be looking at me like, man, this guy can't read. What education level is he on? Anything else? Anything else I'm missing? You're still standing there, people? All right, I'm gonna get out of here. What else we got? Nothing there? Okay, let's get out of here. What's in the back here? Dirty, garbage, garbage, dirty. Hey, another, another comic book. Check it out, Sin Eater. I like that. All right, let's check. Let's see what else is? What, what, what is this? A piece of paper. Zero four five one. That could be the code for the lockbox. Okay. Zero zero four five one. Let's go back and see if we can open that uh, that lockbox. Let's let's hurry up. So. <laughs>
Okay, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go over here. What was that, 0451? Hey. This is an old Polaroid of two people, a man and a woman. On the back is a name, Samantha. Maybe someone around here knows who these people are. I could bring this to people to see if they have any, anything to say about it. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring up that photo. Photo, 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 photo. What a crappy picture. Say, I have a great deal on the camera. Wait. Ah, never mind. I never had a camera. Never had a camera? What a crappy picture. All right. Say, I have... All right, we're going to get out of here. Bye. Anybody around? Okay, so we just went there. Let's go to the pizza place and see if he knows anything, if he's seen any, if he uh, recognizes the photo. I don't know who that old guy is, but the girl is Samantha Rhodes. I used to go to school with her. Oh, she this was is really awesome. nice. Before she disappeared, there were rumors she got knocked up, but no one knew by who. Man, I hope that creep wasn't the one. All right, so we're learning stuff, man. Th this is this is the most I've ever done in this game. I never picked up this photograph. I've never picked up this photograph. Let's let's go to Peepaw to see if he knows anything. Yeah, I remember those two. The guy is Lewis. Used to own the old laundromat that burnt down. The girl used to work there. It was a shame what happened to them both. Oh wow! All right. I guess uh, we well moving right along. Let's go in here. See if there's uh. Hey, dude, you ever seen these people? Oh yeah, that's Lewis and the hot bride who used to work for him. He always was a slick bastard. Uh, looks like uh, people know a little bit about these two. All right, let's see. What? A, hmm. I never knew what this mask was for. The doll, the doll head. Ugly doll head. Oh, right, let's uh see. Let's see what's on TV here. Puppet Combo presents Welcome to the Glacier Peak Ski Resort. Where the air is fresh, the sky is blue. I and love the this. Are killer. <laughs> this winter, Mount Doubleton has a new resident, and it's decided to dine in. Will these innocent skiers survive, or will they become mince meat? It's some kind of savage beast. <laughs> it's some kind of dangerous freak. I love it's this. Ski. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it, man. Oh, the work that went into this game is amazing. Small things can cause big trouble. I know where the Tri-Delta sorority is having their initiation tonight. Yeah, Delta Delta. And we just might be able to watch. They say you've got that to guy kind of looks like to um, to the top. And Eric lying. Roberts. The guy with the glasses kind of looks... You shouldn't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's move right along. And they're right. Busted. They say where there's smoke, there's fire. And they're right. Babs, have a cocktail. They say curiosity. 
Yeah, let's turn that off. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right, let's round, walk round. Take out the laundry. Okay, it's time for the laundry to come out. Let's take the laundry out. Okay, we're gonna put it in the dry ye. Does someone ring the bell at the front counter? Yellow. Ah, bathroom. But do I have to use the bathroom? All right, <laughs> maybe I do, I don't know. Shall we answer the phone? Uh, I, I can't make out what you're saying there. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's, uh, creepalicious. Okay, <laughs> creepy. All right. Let's see. Do I need to use the bathroom? Women's bathroom. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm sure that we have a key now. I think we picked up a key. Didn't we pick up a bathroom key? We picked up a bathroom key, did we? Not the bathroom key. It's a bathroom key. <laughs> the bathroom key, the bathroom key, the bathroom key. <laughs> oh, another comic book. Check it out. Hey. I'm serious. I'm going to read these comics, and then I'm going to let you know what I thought about them in, in a future episode, for sure. Anything in here? Do I have to poo? Do I have to poo? No, I don't have to poo. Do I have to poo? <laughs> Do I have to poo? Um, I don't, um, um, I don't. It's six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine. I'll tell you, yo. <laughs> Henry, Jordan, you guys are from my era. <laughs> 80s, baby, yeah. Let's see, is there anything else in here? I can't see myself. No, it looks like what? Uh, the mirror smashed? Yep, definitely. Not too many video games where you see your um, your reflection, especially the uh, the uh, you know the ones that are like you know like retro. Hello, what am I doing in the men's bathroom? What am I doing in the men's bathroom? Ah, police report on Lewis, the guy in the uh, in the photograph. A police report that details a suspect named Lewis Kennedy. This is just for public intoxication, but that name keeps popping up. Wonder if I can find out more about him. I can bring this to people and see if they uh, have anything to say about it. Looking around, looking, whoa, hold up. Hello. All right. Looks like uh, we're not gonna be. Uh, uh, we're gonna. We're just gonna just not bother with that. There. <laughs> he looks like he's in his own little world. <laughs> hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Check it out. Condom dispensers. Remember those? Yeah. Especially in the clubs, right? Condom dispensers, man. Yeah. That was back in the day where people actually cared about their health, or at least I think so. Hand dryer. Okay, let's go back. Do we need this key anymore? I don't think we need, I don't think we need this key anymore. Oh! Whoa, dude. Okay. Uh... I don't remember this the last time I played this game. It's, it's amazing, like, you know, how far you go. 
to uh, you know unlock certain things and things happen. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is a mannequin looks looks a mannequin with that's with child. It looks like is is it, is it going to be a baby mannequin or is it going to be a boy mannequin or a girl mannequin? <laughs> What's uh what's what's in here? What's in the laundry cart? It's an empty cart for clothes. There's nothing in it. Anything in here? Empty cart for clothes. I'm being a real detective now, y'all. I'm looking around, man. All right. So, moving right along. Let's do the uh let, let let's let's do the um yeah, the police report. Let's uh go around get the police report. Here we go. Don't know how you got that, but yeah, I knew Lewis. He owned the old laundromat that burnt down. We were buds, but he disappeared one day. Oh, yeah. It's the aliens, I tell ya. <laughs> Lewis is looking down on us poor schmucks right now from the cosmos. Oh. <laughs> this poor guy. Right, hold on a second. Let me lift this microphone a little bit and bring the microphone over. Okay. Uh, moving right along. Dryer still rocking. Let's go around and see who knows something. Let's start with Peepaw, since he's a little closer. This is the most in-depth I've ever gotten in this game, y'all. Old Lewis was a real son of a bitch. <laughs> Had a real eye for the younger girls, he did. He was a real son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't mean to gossip, but I have it on good authority. He was the one who knocked up that poor girl who worked for him. Mm. Can't remember her name, but between that scandal, the fire, and then the disappearances, I would say all the details will never be known. Huh? Okay. Thank you, Peepaw. Moving right along, we're just playing investigator. Inspector Sarah. Detective Sarah in the heezy. Lewis Kennedy? Nope. Never heard of him. Okay, dude. Thank you. Maybe we should play another round of run bums. <laughs> Whoa! Damn. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, whoa. The, the, she just appeared out of nowhere. Dang. <laughs> oh, man. Don't know who that is, but he sounds like a real asshole to me. You would know, huh? <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we went to Peepaw. We went to Peepaw, we went to the Greasy Manager. Where else are we going? I think we went everywhere. I think we went everywhere we needed to go. So what's up with you, miss? Anything you want to tell me? Wait a minute. How about we, how about we show her the photo? Ma'am, photo, picture, picture, photo, photo, picture. Okay, all right, never mind. All right, so what we got? That's still on. Okay, moving right along. Let's see. Is there anything that I'm missing? I picked up a few things. I checked out the uh, telephones, the telephones, the uh, telephone, the telephone. And. Let's go back outside. I know that old lady has something to say. I know she does. 
Let's see. Maybe if I showed her the news, uh, the 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 police report. Hello, police report? No. Um. Picture? No. Um. No. Did we go everywhere? I think there might be more. I think there's probably more. I think I might there might be a newspaper or something like that that I gotta pick up. Yes. There it is. Okay, I wonder if anyone around here knows what happened. I can bring this to people to see if they have anything to say about it. Let me read yeah. I know I kinda went through that kind of fast, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm kind of rushing because I actually have to go to work in a little bit. Okay, so let's uh, take a look and see what these people know about this here. Let's see, uh, newspaper. Here you go. How about that? It was a real shame. Sometimes the only way to hide a secret is to burn it. Yeah. Moving right along. Let's, let's get a little joggy jog here. Wish this place would go up in flames next. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Once again, big shout out to Yub. Okay, let's go to Greasy Man right here. Look, I don't know anything about that. I just opened up shop not long ago. As I'm sure you can tell by how clean it is in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're proud, aren't you? <laughs> However, I'm no detective. But if you ask me, I think it has something to do with the sounds I hear at night outside. Mm. I don't want you to think I'm losing my marbles, but I hear some weird things out there some nights. Just screams, I guess. Almost like from a child. But I can tell that ain't no kid out there. Oh, I'm sure. All right, now, you, you're gonna tell me something, damn it! You've been standing there with, with your face like, just like that, and hadn't said anything. I showed you a picture, I showed you a police report, and you ain't said nothing. You're gonna talk to me, woman. Talk, damn it! Oh, son of a. All right, fine. Bye. All right. How about you? What do you guys say about this? Yeah, sad day. I used to do my laundry there, and let me tell you. It was a lot better than this shithole. Had this real hot chick working there too. Oh, I bet it was. Bet, bet there was. Shame she got pregnant. Had real potential to be a passenger on the D train, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, you perv. All right. Now, usually in video games, you have to talk to this person to get to that person to get to this person to unlock another person. So. <laughs> All right, old lady. I went to Peepaw. I went to that douchebag in the in, in, in the laundry mat. I went to the pizza guy. I went to the greasy manager. You ready to talk now? Huh? 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 All right. Come on, talk! You're not gonna talk? All right, fine. You don't have to talk. It's okay. It's all right. 
I don't know. Did, did I, did I, did, did I, 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 I don't know. Did I talk to you already? Look, I don't know anything about that. I just opened up shop not long ago. However, I'm no detective. But if you ask me, I think it has something to do with the sounds I hear at night out. I don't want you to think I'm losing my marbles, but I hear some weird things out there some nights. Just screams, I guess. All right, let's move along. Move along. Move along. All right, I went everywhere. Miss, you have to say something. No? All right. Huh? How about that? Huh? No? Huh? Picture? Nothing? You have nothing to say. Oh, now you want to talk. Oh, all right. Now I think we're getting somewhere. How about this? No? Huh? Nothing? All right. I'm on to you, miss. I'm on to you. Yellow. Yellow. Well, I guess my drying is done. These clothes are still wet. This machine must be broken, but those, those are my last quarters. I need to find that employee and get my quarters back. Son of a... Where are you? Hey, look, I want my money back, D dude. The heck is going on here? Hello? Yellow? The heck is going on? Oh! It's the employee. He's been ripped to shreds. I need to call the police. Yeah, I think we do. Hey, listen, like I said, I played through this game before, and it seems like the scares, the jump scares, get me every time. Because just when you think, like, oh, here comes the jump scare. I played this before. It gets you each and every time. It's almost like it's, like, random times. But, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do right here is we're going to... Actually, let's pick up the hammer. Might come in handy. Ladies and gentlemen, now, the debut of yours truly, voice actor H.P. Gibson. Yes, I did voice act this part. Uh, dispatch 911. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, my name is Sarah. You need to send someone now. I'm at the... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. You're far too kind. You're far too kind. No, no. Thank you. I, I, I want to thank. I, I want to thank the Academy of 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 new voice actors, uh, and uh, I want to. I wanna also want to thank uh, everybody over at Torture Star Video. I want to thank uh, everybody at the Puppet Combo. I want to thank all the YouTubers who gave me such a wonderful, wonderful one. Let me stop. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 20 minutes later. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cut it. That's right. We're going to cut it. This is actually my part right here. I play Officer Burton. I voice act Officer Burton in this part. But we're going to save that for another episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. Please do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon so that way you can get notifications of brand new content. And coming soon to Twitch. Coming soon to Twitch. I'm going to be doing text adventures on Twitch. All right? Because 
it's a long story. I decided to do text adventures on Twitch because I just don't have the computer power to do anything full motion video on Twitch. But I'm gonna tell you the reason why I'm doing text adventures on Twitch in a future episode. So please do join me next time. This is H.B. Gibson here on Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. I'm H.B. Gibson, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Let's do it again. All right, we're going to stop it right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually where I begin my voice acting debut right here in the game. Yes, I voice acted this particular character, Officer Burton, but we're going to do that in the next. Okay, we're going to stop. But we're going to stop it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my chapter. Yes, I voice act this character right here, Officer Burton. Uh, you can go check me out on IMDb if you want to get if you want to get proof or uh, watch the, the the closing credits and everything. You know, you you see my name uh, in the in the uh, end credits. And I want to thank uh, Jordan and Henry for having me on board. I want to thank all of you for watching this episode of Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. I'm H.B. Gibson, and I will see you in the next video. Chapter 3 of Bloodwash. Officer Burton, played by yours truly. See you next time. Okay, everybody, I'm just going to end it here right... Okay, everybody. Uh, hold on. I'm going to end it right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this actually begins the third chapter in the game where yours truly, voice actor H.B. Gibson, does the voice for Officer Burton. And I, I tell you, I'm just, I'm floored. Once again, thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Henry. Thank you, uh, everybody over Puppet Combo, uh, for having me to be a part of this video game. But we're going to do this in the next episode of Popcorn, Coffee, and Joysticks. I'm H.B. Gibson. I love you to life. Thank you for watching. Hit that bell icon, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.